Hi guys. Okay, we are back. Finally. If I sound horrible, I apologize. I took an extra Sudafed. So either I'm going to clear up or I'll black out on camera. So, you know, possibilities are endless. <laughs> so we had what is now, I don't know, the fourth round of whatever this cold nonsense is. Ugh. But I'm feeling better, so I want to take advantage of it and film. It's about 11.30 at night, so <laughs> we're doing what we got to do. Okay, so we are doing, we're still on the weekly paycheck kick right now. So this is my husband's uh, check pay period. Now, I'm not 100% sure um, if this will always be this amount, we're still kind of trying to figure out because there's a, I guess he, there's a stipend, um, and then mileage is paid, but I don't really know how that factors in now with gas prices being the way they are. So I guess we're just going to have to kind of see how it goes. So I hope all of you are doing well. Let me know below. I've actually got a question. I might do a poll on the community page. Um, but what size cash envelopes do you use or do you need? Just trying to gather some information because I do want to open my shop soon. But... I'm kind of in some of the research mode as far as sizing goes. So if you guys could help me out with that and leave a comment below, I would really appreciate it. If there's like a certain size you have a hard time finding or even like a certain style, uh, please let me know. I, I appreciate, you know, any, any input. Okay, we're also not going to uh, pay attention to my nails, even though I'm purposely showing you them now. They're horrible. I don't want to talk about it. It's a long story. <laughs> okay, first thing up is the house. And that is 450 or I should say we're putting 450 towards that. Daycare. That is getting 360 And then epidemic sound. That is the um, what is it? Website I get the music from for YouTube. And then we have Coles. That is on the thirteenth for twenty. Ooh, I think it's twenty-seven. And then we have T-Mobile, and that is also on the 13th for $197, and then Affirm. I feel like I keep writing this bill under the wrong section. Okay, I'm going to keep it, but I think what happened is there was a couple times there where the payment date was slightly different, and that could have just been, you know, fell on a holiday or on a Sunday or something. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in. It's not going to make a huge, huge difference as far as the budget's concerned. Um, so I'm okay with kind of being wrong with that amount at least. So that total should be 11, 10, 24. And that should leave us with 689. 689, 76. Oh, I see movement on the baby monitor. Okay, I think we're good. All right. 
So now moving down to envelopes. Oh, and I'm really excited, guys. So my husband is getting a safe from work. They sell them where he works. So I will soon be able to do regular cash again um, and feel better about it. Not so much for these envelopes do I worry, but it's like the sinking funds that I'm just like, ugh, sketches me out having, you know, large amounts like that. So, okay. First envelope is medical. And that is getting 50. Then we have groceries, and that is getting 250. Now, if you've missed a week or two or uh, you're new, I recently bumped up the weekly grocery amount to 250. Uh, part of that being I have a four month old, so I can't believe he's four months already. Oh my gosh. Um, so, diapers formula, all the expensive things, although he's getting to start um, solids here, so that'll kind of cut back on the formula, but then you're buying the baby food, so, you know, then there's no win. <laughs> so here's my husband's allowance is 40. Mine is 25. And then we have household, and that is also 25. Eating out, that is 40. And then miscellaneous, that is 25. And again, for those that are new, my miscellaneous is kind of, uh, I guess, unbudgeted or, you know, those quarterly bills that you completely forget about or whatever. That's kind of what that section is for. Okay, so that total should be 530. And that will leave us with 159. Wait, did I do the math right? One five. Yeah, 159.76. So this amount is just going to go into our uh, checking buffer. And that is 159.76. Okay, and that, if, if you don't already use some kind of checking buffer, or whether it be a secondary account that, you know, automatically pulls over into your other checking or something. It's just a nice cushion to have for those times where an unexpected bill hits or maybe a subscription that you canceled, didn't actually cancel, and now it's charging you and you got to wait for a reimbursement. You know, all those little things. I can't tell you how many times a checking buffer has saved my butt. Um, so if you don't already do this, I highly encourage, even if it's like five bucks, just something to kind of keep you, anything to keep you getting a late charge, you know? So, all right, that is that. So now we are going to cash stuff. All right, taking a quick sip of my pop because nothing says good idea like caffeine at 11.30 at night. Okay, I'm moving this off to the side. So, we've got the money. Let's back this up. Guys, I am so sick of being sick. I can't even tell you. <laughs> Ever since my daughter started daycare, it has been just non-stop. I mean, granted, before that point, she really hadn't been sick, except maybe... No, there was one time we both got something horrific that I do almost wonder 
if that was uh, the 19 back before it was kind of known that it was here, I guess is the best way to say it without getting flagged. <laughs> so, uh, because I, I have never been as sick in my life as we were. I mean, that poor kid. I had to sit upright with her on the couch for her to sleep because she just could not breathe. I mean, it was, oh God, it was awful. So I do wonder if that is what we both had because it was so bad. And I'm generally not a wuss when it comes to being sick, but y'all, that almost, I felt like it almost took me out. Okay, medical, we are doing 50. And then, boy, do I have an update for you. It'll probably be in my next video. But there is a medical bill that went to collections. Yeah, that's a good time. Especially because I never got anything in the mail for said bill. So, gotta love that. All right, 250 for groceries. And then gas, we were doing 75. 75. And hopefully that actually is enough. Oh, gosh. You know, part of the problem, my car's not too bad. I've got a, an Escape, a Ford Escape. It's not bad. But my husband has a huge Dodge Ram. And that thing is not exactly fuel efficient. <laughs> okay, my husband's allowance is 40. And then mine is 25. But I'm going to go ahead and just put it off to the side like usual. Because that won't go far. And then household is getting 25. And I was thinking about maybe, now part of this is probably just because of all the YouTubers I watch and all their Grove collaborative stuff that I'm like, oh, do I finally give in and try some of it? I don't know. I like stuff that smells good, but... I never know with that kind of stuff. Now, not to knock all natural whatever, okay? Not to knock it, but if I need a degreaser, I need a degreaser. You know, I, I don't, I don't want to clean with rainbows and happy thoughts. Like, it needs to get through <laughs> with how much I cook. It needs to get through the grease. So... That's why I'm always nervous to try some of those, like, natural uh, cleaners and whatnot. Not to mention, I have pretty bad allergies. 25 for miscellaneous. I have pretty bad allergies. And there was a cleaner. I think it was... Oh, gosh. Oh, I can't think of which one it was. But it was, like, you know, all natural, blah, blah. You know, power of plants and all this stuff. And I, <laughs> not only did I have like a sinus reaction to it, I busted out in hives. I mean, it was a whole, sometimes all natural isn't, uh, isn't the best, you know? <laughs> so, all right, there's our cash envelopes. We are done for now. I think I should have a couple other videos this week because my husband, before his promotion, the uh, store location he was at did really well. Um, and so they all get a bonus that is paying out later than it normally would. So I think we're going to get that bonus check and our tax return in the same couple days. So I'm excited to film. Well, I'm excited and thankful that that's happening, but also I'm excited to film a video <laughs> for you guys. So, all right, that's this budget. Here's hoping. It's a pretty short pay period. My paycheck comes on the 15th, so, you know, I think this will be fine. Uh, this week is not a, 
not a struggle week. So I think we'll be good. All right. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope it's warm where you are or getting there. There's like hints of spring. So here's hoping. All right. Bye, guys.